I remember one time when I was a seventh grader and I had read the book, Robinson Caruso. I was so proud of myself. So I go see my teacher. I go take the test. She says, mm, Keith, I need you to take the test again. I'm thinking to myself, why do I need to take the test again? I take the test again. She says, hmm, okay, I guess you did read the book. That hurt me as a seventh grader. I couldn't believe that my teacher didn't believe that I would take the time to read the book. And I can also recall when I was a junior at Fresno State and I was an accounting major and I didn't do well on an exam and I went and saw my professor. I said, doc, I need some help. I didn't get the grade I wanted to get. Can you help me? He then says, Keith, don't worry about it. Black people don't make good CPAs anyway. That crushed my heart as a young man. That's when I first experienced a hard racism, of bigotry, of having low expectations of people of color. I will never forget that. And those are the issues that drive me today as a school board member to make sure that children have all that they have, that we have the high expectation that they can be all that God has created them to be. My hope for our community is that we pull together as one. One race alone cannot do this. It's gonna take us all working together as a team. This is a big boulder that we have to push uphill, ladies and gentlemen, but with the right people, with the right momentum, I know we can cure this problem. So well, how we can go forward is education. I shot this at a school because it's, where, it's through education where people have the opportunity to be all that God has called them to be. So I'm asking my colleagues, I'm asking my friends, I'm asking my teachers, I'm asking my fellow professors, I'm asking my fellow trustees, please let's work together to solve this issue of racism so that no other child will have to be exposed to what I was as a young one. Thank you so much.